What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. It is officially the weekend. Fridays make me so happy. The whole weekend makes me so happy. But in any case, I just want to say I am proud of you guys for making it through the week. Sometimes this month of the year, um, the end of the year, but specifically this month can be a stressful um, for whatever reason, be it, you know, shopping, the holidays, um, work, closing things out at work, depending on what type of job you're doing, um, trying to get things in order in your personal life. So much stress, but I want to remind you guys to continue to stay positive. Um, find positivity in everything that you do, everyone that you run into, um, because again, this time of year brings the best and the worst out of people. Um, so your energy means everything. Your energy definitely means everything. People pick up on your energy. Um, if you're good at picking up energy from other people, you can kind of tell what's good for you and what's not. I can kind of tell um, when I'm not feeling a vibe, when the vibe is wrong, when it's off. If I'm not feeling good, whether it's where I'm at or who I'm around or who I'm meeting, I can kind of sense energy and so um i tend to just kind of remove myself from whatever doesn't make me feel good inside um you know typically i'll get this this urge to not want to be around things or or i just don't feel good like my my mood kind of changes depending on the energy that that's surrounding me so be mindful of that you guys but um all in all you guys just keep a positive mindset um Take your time with everything. It's the end of the year. Sometimes you just kind of take, got to take a step back, take a take a deep breath and say, you know what? I'm not going to allow this to stress me. I'm not going to allow this person to stress me. I'm not going to allow this job to stress me out. I'm not going to, you know, allow other things to stress me out. Continue to, you know, l reflect. Again, reflect on the year. Reflect on the things that you've done that you haven't done. Um, you can still start now. You can get a jump start on the new year by starting now. You know, look at it that way. Don't look at what you haven't done. Look at this month as a jump start for the following year. So if there's something that you've been wanting to do all year or something that you've been doing and you just kept falling off, falling off, falling off, you can sit there and you say to yourself, you know what, this is the month that I'm going to prepare myself for the upcoming year. So if it's going to the gym, you've been wanting your summer body all year and you didn't get it. And here we are, December, winter time. There's nowhere for you to, to show off your summer body. You haven't been to the gym. You feel discouraged. Don't be. Because this month right here can be the jump start to your summer body for the next summer. So get in the gym. Even if it's if you're struggling that bad, get in there at least once or twice a week. Work out at home. Get yourself in a routine because the more you get into into a routine, a good routine, the more it becomes a good habit. And that's with all things in life, right? So um, be mindful of that, you guys, but just reflect, revise, look over your goals, prepare yourself. Don't beat yourself up for the things that you didn't do all year because now it's the end of the year and this year is almost gone so use this as preparation for the upcoming years set yourself you know look debt look at your bills um look at what you need to pay down look at your future goals whatever it is that you want to buy whether it's a car or a house or get a new apartment look at your finances look at the things that you can clean up you know start cleaning up now same thing with your mental health declutter your mind um, you know, look at the things that you need to eliminate, things that you need to free yourself from, things that you need to heal from. Look into therapy. It's okay to start now. Don't worry about the fact that you spent all year without a therapist and now you're like, oh man, you know what? I should have done this a long time ago. Start now. There is no right time to start healing. Just start now. You know, when it comes to your job, make sure that you are just staying on top of yourself when it comes to, to, to your work and the things that you do at work. If you didn't do it all year, start now. You know, if if it's, you know, if you're not doing a good job being a great partner in a relationship or being a great friend or, you know, whatever the case may be and your relationship has been, you know, on the ups and downs, 
start now if that person is willing to stick by you and be patient with you and you know talk with you and let you know like look this is what's happening i'm not feeling good about this we need to fix this start now today's message is start now no matter what it is start now don't look at it as oh it's too late no december can be the end of a year but it can also be a jump start to the year ahead so do yourself a favor sit down Write all the things down, look at your goals, look at everything that you've done and the things that you haven't done. Those things that you haven't done, break them down into categories and break those things apart and see what you can start doing now to prepare yourself to do better next year. So with that being said, you guys, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Be safe out there if you guys are shopping. I've been talking about shopping all week and I have not done a thing other than grocery shopping. So hopefully between today excuse me and the weekend i'll get most if not all of my christmas shopping done because i refuse for the next two weeks i'm telling you guys i'm gonna keep you guys posted because oh no 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 every year i say the same thing and i get stuck christmas week trying to shop and and run around with everyone else doing the same exact thing with the same mindset i'm not doing it other than that you guys did you guys see the matrix unreal engine Five yesterday last night did you guys go you if you didn't watch you guys need to go watch me and tyrone we did them separately but we live streamed them oh man 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 that unreal engine 5 for the matrix was insane last night go and check that out other than that you guys Leave a few comments below. Let me know what you guys want to talk about. Let me know if you guys enjoy these motivational videos. If you like having relationship talks. You know, I'm trying to kind of figure out other things to do, um, you know, that you guys enjoy. And I know that I haven't done um, a live stream with you guys for a while. So I'm working on that uh, amongst a few other things, you know. So I want to, that's part of my thing you know i'm i'm, I'm kind of getting myself together with my channel and seeing what i can bring in what you guys like and i'm open for suggestions i mean i do everything um and also i apologize if you know if if i don't comment a lot um sometimes things go so fast i miss comments i don't respond back but i will read them i will like them um i will heart them um but sometimes my days get so crazy sometimes i won't respond to something for two days it charted to my brain not my heart you know so much goes on and there's a lot of comments sometimes to go through and things like that especially if i'm doing videos back to back to back and there's comments just flowing 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 um it's a little tough but i see you and i appreciate you please continue to um engage i appreciate you guys so very very much but have a great day you guys have a great day on purpose be thankful be grateful be mindful be positive positive intentions all the way around. I will see you guys later. And if you haven't done so, please remember to subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later.